Okay, so one of the most important skills that you need to understand, not only in math, but also in science, is how to convert units of measure. And a lot of people are going to get this simple problem wrong because they get confused on how to convert units of measure. But let's see how you do with this problem. And let me go ahead and describe it to you. So what we have here is 30 miles per hour, and we want to express this speed in terms of feet per second. So 30 miles per hour is how many feet per second? That is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but here is a very important piece of information that you need to know to solve this problem. And that is one mile or one statuette mile. That just means one mile on land. And by the way, this is an uh, important uh, terms of a nautical mile. So you may have heard of a nautical mile. A nautical mile is the distance of a mile on the ocean. Uh, a statuette mile is a distance of a mile on land, and they are slightly different. But this is a uh, uh, unit. So if you didn't know how many feet, let's just say we're in a statuette mile, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you right here. So one mile is equal to one statuette mile, again, is equal to 5,280 feet. Okay, so that is the question. Again, feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to show you exactly how to convert units of measure and solve this problem. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so... And we have uh, 30 miles per hour. Maybe it's a car going 30 miles per hour. How many feet per second is that speed? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 44 feet per second. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional certified expert in the area of converting units of measure. And again, this is critically important, uh, not only in mathematics, but in other uh, aspects of life uh, beyond even just school. OK, if you are in the trades, you know, if you you know work with uh, construction, for example, you'll have to convert units of measure all the time. And oftentimes, uh, you know, the problems are pretty uh, straightforward. But if you um, are a student and you're going to be uh, getting into more science classes like physics or chemistry, this is a skill that you absolutely must master. And I'm going to go ahead and get into exactly how to approach converting units of measure where there is more uh, than one unit of measure involved. So here is the situation. We have 30 miles per hour. We want, we want to understand or want to know how many feet per second this is uh, equivalent to, right, this speed. And again, we have this piece of information. Now, if you didn't have this inf information here on in terms of uh, how many feet are in a mile or a statue mile, you would have to obtain that, and you can get this in all different sorts of conversion tables and whatnot. So this is not necessarily, no, I would, I'm not going to say it's not common knowledge, but if you forgot how many feet are in a mile. That's perfectly fine. But even if you looked it up, okay, you still need to know what to do with this information. So let's go ahead and start talking about that right now. Okay, so first things first, and the first thing we want to realize is that this uh, 30 miles per hour, this unit right here in math, we call this a rate, okay? So uh, you could describe, let's say this is a car, what is the rate of the vehicle? Uh, what's the car's rate? Now, typically what we would use a word like speed or velocity, but a rate is effectively a fraction where you're comp uh, comparing uh, two different units of uh, measure. Okay, so we can kind of see this more clearly here. And uh, then we're going to just write this out. So we have 30 miles. Okay, so this is our miles. This per, okay, this is how we would say this, 30 miles per the per is the fraction bar. So the miles come first, that's our numerator, and the hours is our denominator. So we can write this 30 miles per hour, and we want to think of this in terms of a fraction. Okay, so 30 miles per hour is equal to 30 miles per one hour. So let's say this car 
uh, if we say, oh, how fast is a car going? It's going 30 miles per hour. What does that mean? Well, in one hour's time, it will cover 30 miles. So 30 miles per one hour. So the first thing you want to do when you want to convert units of measure is to express your rate as a fraction, just like this. Okay, it's going to be much easier to do these problems if you do that. So now what we want to do is say, okay, well, uh, we have this uh, car, let's just uh, call it, for example, uh, it's going uh, 30 miles per hour, but its speed is in miles per hour. But the question is, how many, uh, 30 miles per hour is, is how many feet per second? Now, if we look at this rate, what are we comparing? We're comparing a, a unit of distance to a unit of time. Well, I can uh, convert this distance into another unit, uh, another distance measure, which in this, is, of course, would be feet. And, of course, I can compare hours or I can convert hours into another uh, time measurement, which would be uh, seconds, right? So we're just going from, uh, we're still, we're not... Um, breaking the rate here or, or changing anything. We're just uh, using different units of measure, but we're comparing distance to time. And what we need to be thinking about is, okay, well, how do I go from miles uh, per hour to feet per second? Well, this process is called um, converting uh, units of measure. Very, very important uh, process. We're just going to take it nice and slow in terms of, of explaining this. And what we're going to do first is talk about um, how to go from miles per hour. Let's go, um, let's get out of miles and get into feet. So we're gonna convert miles into feet first and then we'll address the hours. I don't wanna do this uh, simultaneously because this can be confusing, but we'll have to uh, uh, combine all these steps uh, to kind of finish this up, finish this problem up, but I'm just gonna take this nice and slow. So let's go and talk about how to convert miles to feet. Okay, so, or miles per hour to feet. Okay, so what we need to do is use a conversion factor. And a conversion factor is basically a fraction where we have both units that are involved, okay, the one that you want to, the one that you have and the one you want to go into uh, in a uh, fraction, okay? So this fraction here is going to be the following, okay? One mile, or let's just use it, let me state it this way, 5,280 feet per one mile. Okay, so this is our conversion factor. Now, I could write this same conversion factor, and sometimes I'll need to do it this way, as this. I can write one mile per 5,280 feet. There's nothing wrong with this, and there's nothing wrong with this, but we need to choose the correct co uh, conversion factor for our situation. So what am I talking about there? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. Okay, so this is how this works. So we're in miles per hour right now, 30 miles per hour, and we want to go to feet. We want to get out of miles and convert to feet. Well, how many miles are in a feet? Well, we just have this uh, lab or, um, written right here. There's 5,280 feet per one mile. So what we're going to do is you're going to um, take your um, current um, units of measure and you're going to multiply it by this conversion factor and when this happens notice we're dealing with fractions the miles will cross cancel let me just make sure you understand how to multiply fractions because if you don't this is a problem let me kind of use something nice and simple so 7 over 10 times oh i don't know let's say 3 over 7. okay so if i'm going to multiply these fractions this is 7 times 3 over 10 times 7. Uh, when I have the uh, like factors in the numerator and denominator, here I have 7 in the numerator, I have 7 in the denominator, I, I can cross cancel because uh, one's in the numerator, one is in the denominator, okay, in terms of these factors, so you can cross cancel, and this is how we get rid of uh, units of measure when we are converting, okay? So we are multiplying these two fractions, and notice I have a mile down here and miles over here, I can literally just get rid of the miles and what I'm left with is feet, okay? And that is the name of the game. You have to be thinking in terms of what conversion factor I need to, do I need to multiply by to get rid of the units of measure. So you have to be thinking, if I have miles in the numerator, I wanna have miles down here in the denominator so I can get rid of those miles, okay, when I multiply. All right, so hopefully you understand that. And if you do, let's go ahead and continue to proceed. 
All right, so again, uh, in order to know this conversion factor, you would just look it up. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet, one statute mile again, and that would be different. You have to be careful because if you are doing some sort of word problem and they state nautical miles, there is a, a pretty big difference. If I'm if I, my memory serves me right, a nautical mile is pretty close to 6,000 feet. So that's a big difference between a statute mile. So uh, pay attention to those things. All right, so if you understand what I just did here, we can go ahead and proceed. And uh, let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so first things first, here is our 30 miles per hour. Let's just kind of go back to the beginning. So we have 30 miles per hour. We are going to write this as a fraction, this rate as a fraction, 30 miles per one hour. And our first objective is to get rid of the miles and go into feet. So we're gonna multiply our 30 miles per hour times the conversion factor for uh, feet and miles. And here, again, miles goes away and I'm left with just feet, okay, in the numerator. So when I multiply this, what are what are the units of measure that are, uh, remain? Well, I'm gonna have feet for my uh, distance and I still have hours for my time. So if I did this uh, multiplication 30 times 5,280, uh, and my answer would be how many um, feet per hour, okay? So that's not what I want, right? So I have feet per hour. We're getting closer. I want feet per second. So now we're going to have to address our time uh, measurement. So I'm not going to do this multiplication yet because we're going to need to uh, multiply uh, this situation by other conversion factors to address the time portion of this problem. But at least this part right here um, takes uh, care of the conversion from miles to feet, all right, so let's go ahead and start talking about time. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. And of course, I didn't give you the conversion factor uh, for time because I'm pretty confident that you, that you know that there is 60 minutes in one hour. Now here, okay, I'm going from miles per hour. Again, we have miles per hour right here. We're going to write this as a rate. So we're going to focus our attention in on the hours. We want to get rid of the hours and we want to go from hours to seconds, right? Well, before we go to uh, from hours to second, we're going to have to make a pit stop at minutes, right? So we're going to go. To, we're going to want to go from hours to minutes to seconds. So let's convert first um, uh, hours to minutes. And how do we do that? Well, pretty straightforward. 60 minutes, uh, one hour per 60 minutes. This is the conversion factor. So I know that you know, okay, how many minutes there is in an hour. But what I want you to get used to is working with these conversion factors. This is really, really important because if you don't work this way, if you are, let's say, uh, taking a physics class or a chemistry class, and you're, if you don't work with the units of measure in fractions and think in these terms, you will be very confused and you're going to get a lot of problems wrong. Okay. The easy stuff you can do, oh yeah, like 60 minutes, uh, you know, if, you know, how many hours are in 120 minutes? Oh, I'll just divide that by, you know, I have 120 minutes and then I know, okay, uh, there's 60 minutes uh, per one hour. You could, you know, these basic conversions, that's fine. But when you, um, in other words, you, you don't have to express all, you know, these basic conversions, writing, writing them out like this. But when you get into a little bit more involved problems, you need to kind of stop yourself and break things down in this manner. Okay, so when we do this, when we multiply, what's going to happen? Well, the hours are going to go away and I'm left with minutes. Okay, and that's what I want. So if I want to go from hours to minutes, I'm going to have to multiply by this conversion factor, but I want seconds, right? So we're going to have to go from minutes uh, to seconds. Okay, so here is our final conversion factor. So uh, how many seconds are in one minute? Well, one minute uh, has 60 seconds. All right, so let's take a look at what happens when I multiply miles per hour times these two conversion factors, okay? And this is what you wanna be doing. You just wanna kinda of see what units get uh, canceled. Okay, so an hour is going to cross cancel with that hour. The minute is gonna cross cancel with this minute, and you're gonna be left with seconds, 
okay? So when I have miles per hour, I need to multiply one over 60 times one over 60 again, and I'll be uh, left with seconds, all right? So uh, most of you probably could figure this out because 60 times 60 is 3,600, and you can work it in that manner. And some of you uh, may have uh, figured this out and got the right answer just by kind of, you know, doing this in a more uh, kind of um, yeah, an indirect manner, if you will, right? But if you were taking a test or exam, you really need to be able to illustrate this. But this is kind of, I don't want to say the proper way of doing it, but this is the best practice of converting units of measure. Okay, so now we have our conversion factors right here uh, to, uh, to convert from hours to second seconds. And we also uh, previously looked at how to go from miles to feet. So now we need to put it all together and this is the way it would look like. I mean, I kind of didn't uh, want to write too small, but I wanted to break this down. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Okay, so here is our 30 miles per hour. Now, our, my M right there is miles. I kind of squeeze it in. All right, so this is 30 miles per hour, and we're going to convert 30 miles per hour to feet per second. Okay, so let's go ahead and just review what we did. First, we're going to get rid of the miles to go from feet. So our conversion factor is 5280. Uh, feet to one statute miles, so miles goes away, okay? All I gotta do is multiply by this, and I'm left with feet up here in the numerator. Okay, so now let's focus in on time. So hours will go will cross cancel with hours, minutes will cross cancel with minutes, and I'm left with seconds. So what units of measure uh, remain? I'll have feet in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. And I'll have, again, feet in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. So this is feet per second. Seconds, excuse me. Okay, so, but what do we have to multiply by? Well, we still have to multiply this 30 times this 5280. This is 1, this is 1, so we don't have to worry about that. And down here in denominator, I have 1, 1 uh, times 60 times 60. So really, this is going to be 30 times 5280 feet over 60 times 60 seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do the number crunching here. And when we finish this up, here's what we come up with. So just one step at a time, we'll do this multiplication. So 30 times 5280 will be 158,400. And of course, 60 times 60 is 3,600. We'll take this, divide it by that, and we're gonna get 44, but what? Well, 44 is in the numerator. Okay, remember we have that in the numerator, 44 feet over one second. Uh, but we can express that as 44 feet per second. If you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.